the most powerful church in whole Europe. The Kingdom Church presents Bishop Climate Ministries A place where the captives are set free and where the members are wealthy, healthy, and wise. Your breakthrough is now. But if I cast out demons with the finger of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Join the vision and be free. Number two, the Bible says knowledge. You must start, what, listen to me everybody, what I'm sharing with you today, these things is gifts. And they are, a gift is like a muscle. The more you exercise, no one of us is perfect, but the more you exercise, the more better you become. I remember, I realized one thing when I, I started doing this, especially when I got born again, I realized, you know one thing, for example, if I start cleaning the house, if I'm going to clean the house, I'm going to finish what I started. But some of you right now, this is what you do. You, your own house. To, even up to today, you're trying to, you've been trying to clean it. Because you start one side, you stop. You mop half of the kitchen. One, two, three. Then you stop. Next week you continue. Before you realize where you stopped, the dust is already there. And what I realized, that's why for me, if I'm going to start mopping, I make sure I mop everywhere. Everywhere. If it's vacuuming, I finish everywhere. Let me share this with you. I'm talking about small things. Start with the small things. Start with the small things. You need to develop that habit. As I speak to you right now, many of you right now, the spirit of excellence is not working you out because you have, you have formed bad habits. You don't clean plates. You don't, uh, uh, whatever, anything that you start, you don't finish. And now you're going to, you're expecting God to give you a company. God, Shatala, give me a million dollar company. A billion dollar company. Do you know what it takes to manage those type of things? Do you know what it is to run 18 businesses at the same time? Do you know what is it to run 17 businesses at the same time? It's not one. Spirit of excellence. You're supposed to be reporting at work. You're supposed to file in your report. You're supposed to do this. You're supposed to do that. You are supposed to, at work, you're supposed to do this. You, you, you just choose. You're not even improving your handwriting. Number two, knowledge. Why, why does knowledge come after excellent spirit? The word knowledge, the word knowledge, the word knowledge, knowledge, it means awareness or familiarity gained by experience or fact or situation, facts, information, skills acquired through experience or education. In short, it means here the theoretical, practical understanding of a subject. What do I mean here now? You're not, you're, some of you right now, Daniel knew very well. I, I may not be born in Babylon, but I'm going to knowledge myself about Babylon. Same thing with Joseph. Even the brothers of Joseph, when they came, they could not recognize him. The man was speaking Egyptian. He was looking like Egyptian. He was not the little Joseph that left him behind there. I'm prophesying to you, the people that belittled you yesterday, when you meet them after this subject, they are going to see a different man, a different woman, with a different thinking, because you are going high. Knowledge yourself. Knowledge yourself in your career. Knowledge yourself. You qualify as a, as a nurse 1980. That's the time when we used to fill everything manual. Nowadays, everything you have to type in the computer. But you choose not to go with computers. Uh-oh. 
you're gonna have to. You don't wanna. You you you're not moving ahead. Then you have to tell people. Can you read it for me? People will read and tell you other stories. Daniel, he had knowledge. Knowledge that means listen to me. Knowledge means skills that comes by learning. Skill that coming. Daniel knew very well. I'm not listen to me. I'm not going to wait until I become the prime minister to start learning how to deal with politics and how to deal with GDP, how to deal with economy. No, no, no. I have to do it now. I have to do it now. Some of you, you're just sitting like this. I says, God, the day when you give me a husband, then I'll learn how to deal with a husband. It's already too late. That's exactly some of you. That's exactly some of you. That's the that's you ended up in the ditch. Because you think that you know. Can you, do you know the most notorious people in relationships are the ones that think that they know? They don't attend seminars. They think that they know. And they're the ones end up having breakages uh, and they have they, they are, their marriage style is in the pit dead. Because you don't want to know. Anytime, you know how they pretend? Oh, I don't want to hear this information. It's very sensitive. Are you from the devil or where are you from? You, you, and at the end of the day, you, you're lacking. It's very sensitive. Sensitive how? And that's the same thing that you're doing. Uh, how sensitive is it? Does it make any sense? It just tells you that you're ignorant. It just tells you that your star is in captivity. You go there. You, information is there. Information is there. You are there. You're in business. Whatever it is, you don't attend business seminars. You, you don't understand. If you ever know how many seminars are around in this town, some of them for free, you'll get shocked. Where careers are concerned. And yet you're the one crying, God, God, God. They've cornered me. Daniel, develop knowledge. Develop yourself. If you are in air business, develop yourself in that area. Get much more better. Find out what is going around. If you're in law, develop yourself much more better in that area. If you're in finances, develop yourself where that is concerned. If you're in sports, develop yourself much more better. Find out more. Why? Because you know one thing? Your enemies will gather information. And once they gather information, they are going to put you into test. But when they put you into test, just like Daniel, they realize... Actually, you've upgraded your Microsoft mind. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear, did you hear what I said? Some say hallelujah. Uh, look, you can ask my accountant. He knows. I said, hey. Shh. The other day he got showed. I said, you. See there? Put it back. I see that. Why? Because I, I have. There's no way you could be running multiple things and you're just going to be stupid there. People will shave you clean. Why? People will shave you, will shave you with no shaving foam. Do you know how painful it is? Hey. <clears throat> no, you cannot be there. You cannot. I, you go there, you sit down. Some of you run up. God wants to take you to different areas, whatever it is. God wants to bless. You, you have to be careful because if you're not careful, if you don't develop knowledge, you're going to be shortchanged. And when you get shortchanged, your star is going to stall. You can't wait for anybody. I educate myself. I'm here. People ask me. I've got, I've, got, I've got a couple of degrees and I'm still working on another one. What is it for? I never heard those things before. No. I never heard that before. But what happened? I've done all those things for what? Because I want to become the best bishop. That's why when you come to Bishop Climate, I have an answer for everything. Ask me any question, any situation, and I'll give you the answer. I'll help you. I've got knowledge. I hear people say, Oh, Bishop, how comes you know everything? You know why I know everything? Knowledge. Some hallelujah. I study. I study. I study in everything where that is concerned. I study. I don't want to stand up there and at the end of the day preaching and somebody end up asking you a biblical question you don't even understand. 
What about financial situation? How can you be a bishop of a church members, whatever it is, and you can't even sort out their problem what it is? I'll tell you one thing. Why don't you try me? Bring your situation. No matter how bad it is, bring it to me and see if we cannot sort it out. Why? It's because of what? Knowledge. If, listen to me, if you are running a business and you're knowledgeable with your business, even your customer will pick it up. They will know. If you're knowledgeable in the work that you do, no one can dispose you. No one can fire you. When people look at your star like this, your star is shining and they realize you've got no knowledge on what you're doing. They just go behind your boss and shoot your star. All what they do, they go and mess up, set you up with the spirit of error. They said this, said this, or they confuse this, and before you realize, you've made an error, and that error ended up costing up your job. And that is the reason why you find many Christians get fired, many Christians lose their marriage, lose their relationship, because they lack knowledge. Hosea 4, 6 says, My people perish for the lack of knowledge. People perish. Number three, understanding. Daniel operated, if you want to sustain your star, you must have an understanding. What does the word understand mean? It means the ability to understand something or the ability to interpret things. You need this anointing. You need it. You need it. Everybody look at me. It's very interesting. Understanding. 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 What does that mean? It means the way you see Daniel. You're going to have to understand people. Not people understanding you. It's you understanding people. Sometimes we focus on ourselves. But it's about you understanding how. Because at the end of the day, when challenges come, every challenge you're going to see in a minute, when challenges come, you need to have an understanding. Why? You need to know it is the ability to interpret things. There is a way, everybody look at me, there is a way, and I see majority of the people, that they always interpret it the wrong way. And once, listen to me, you interpret your situation the wrong way, you become a victim of your own interpretation. One will see a stumbling block as a stepping stone. And the other one will be a stumbling block as a death sentence. It's the way you see things. Daniel, for example. I mean, I don't understand. Jesus operated. For me, I have no issue. I can work with all of you. Actually live with, that, with all of you. With no problem. I have no issue. Some of you right now, you, can't even, you, can, you cannot even sit next to the other person. Kingdom Church is here. No, Kingdom Church is a church of all type of nationalities here. We are a church. We are not a black church. We are not a white church. We are not a Nigerian church. We are not a, a Kenyan church. We are they, actually there is no one who can claim in this church that the majority. Actually, when you are seated here, it's just like how heaven is gonna be. And that represents how Jesus was. Jesus could work with Judas. He could work with Peter. Peter was a very impatient person. Very impatient person. He could work with, uh, with Matthew. Who, Matthew is a very calculative person. He could work with Philip. Somebody who cannot come with a solution. He could work with, with Thomas. Who was a doubter. But all of them, when they were with Jesus, they all worked together as a team. Why? Because of the spirit of understanding. When you understand, you work with all people. I understand Jamaicans. So, no problem. Yeah? I understand people from Papua Guinea. You, you know, yeah. <laughs> Some will say hallelujah. Uh, uh, that one is from Papua Guinea. <laughs> uh, she's from Togo. Some will say hallelujah. Uh, uh, no problem about it. Yeah? I understand people from uh, Ghana. I understand that. I can work with y Ugandans. All Idamin people. I have no issue with it. Mugabe people, I can work with them. I have no, even Mzilikazi people. I, I, I know that's Lopangula. I can work with everybody from Nigeria. What is it about? It's about understanding. Put your hands on top of your head. Say to me, Lord, give me the spirit of understanding. Let me see things the way you want me to see them. 
in Jesus. It is coming this month of May here at the Kingdom Church with Bishop Connor. Something being stirred in the miracle pool. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in and was made whole, whatsoever disease he had. Come and join us this May, all month long, and experience the miracles, the testimonies, and the breakthroughs here at the Miracle Pool. In everything by prayer and petition and thanksgiving, present your request to God. Come and walk through the Miracle Pool. Bring your prayer requests. Bring your bank statements, court and legal documents. Bring your point of contact and dip them into the pool for a tangible life of changing results. Only at the Kingdom Church where all things are possible. Do you believe in miracles? The following program contains testimonies of true stories by people who have received divine healing and miracles through the ministry of Bishop Climate. They gave these voluntary without any directions from the Kingdom Church. We advise that you always seek medical practitioner's advice before making any decision based on this program. Thank you. about her. She has had spiritual baths and everything. Come here. How are you feeling since Friday? You came for the miracle pool. Yes. What I'm... happened to you? When, after when I left, before anyway when I came, because I was in Zimbabwe for, some, for 10 days, when I came back, I didn't dream anymore. All my things, I was just down. Everything was down. So after Friday, when I went home, I dreamt and dreamt and I, see pe I started to see people. Then I called Rumbi. I said, ah, Rumbi, you remember I was telling you that I'm not dreaming for, for like two weeks now. But when I got home that Saturday morning, I slept and I started to dream and I could see people who were coming to, to try to strangle me, but they couldn't. They could not? No. No more. No more. No more. Come on, give Jesus a mighty of praise. Whosoever has been attacking you in the dream, they cannot attack you anymore. They could not. But before they will attack you, before they put you down. Yes, they could. When in the dream. Yes. In they will attack you, they will pull you down. Yes. But now, they try to come in the dream. They couldn't come. Huh? Yeah, I was just seeing them and I was just laughing. You were laughing? Yes. In the dream? In the dream. Come on, somebody. Somebody shall laugh again. Wow. It's over. The battle is over. Come on, straight champions, wife. Right? Clap on right now. Go we'll one more time. Wow. What can you tell people who missed the miracle pool? It was your first time. Oh, you missed. You really missed because I, I am blessed. And I have grace and I know it and I can feel it. Well, yesterday I was just like sleeping. I got a letter from Barclays. They said, you have got a refund of 35. Then I started to pray. I said, oh my God, is, this is the beginning of my life. You mean yesterday? Miracle pool on Friday. Miracle, money, miracle, Saturday morning. Somebody here, receive it in Jesus' name. Come on, wave it right now. Wow. Friday, you went, you went through the miracle pool. Yes. And I just received a later refund. And I was telling my sister, I didn't even call the bank to ask for this money. But I just knelt down. I, told, I asked my sister, can you help me to pray? This is my restoration. Because I have lost a lot in my life. And this is the beginning of my life. And God started with a little. 
and if you are you see, if you are faithful with the little God will make you now get yourself big money because you have testified of thirty of thirty five of, of, of thirty five pounds you are going to testify of three thousand five hundred you are going to testify of thirty five thousand and you are going to testify of three point five million The champion right. What is it? Stretch your hands right now. Come on, lift up your hands wherever you are. What amazing thing. The miracle pool. What how did you feel when you went in? I was a bit scared. Because I picked you up here. Because God showed me you. Did I ever know you before? No, no. Did I know that you have done spiritual birth? No. This lady before, when she was going seeking for help. She went and she had a spiritual bath. Sometimes you got people and they wash you spiritual bath. And since when she went, she confirmed after that spiritual bath, everything in your life yes. falling down. I was, <laughs> I used to live in Switzerland. I was really rich. You are living in Switzerland? Yeah. Jean? Yes. For 18 years, you were very rich. Yeah. Everything. You lost everything. But since you've been in the kingdom church, you are going to recover everything, everything, everything. You are going to recover every favor. Now, when you hear somebody tell you they used to live in Switzerland, not Sweden. Zurich. When you hear somebody tell you they live in Zurich, in Switzerland. Not Sweden, not Swaziland. Amen. But you know what happened on Saturday morning? You know what that check came of 35? There's a reason why. It has two numbers. On Friday, I spoke about two numbers. Number three and number five. Huh? Yes, yes. Number three. Number three is a number of power. Number five is a number of grace. Yes. What God is saying. Because before, that's how you begin. But now God says, we have begun. A new journey. Lift up your wife. I declare that's why you need grace. So you don't need to be, you know, Satan sometimes. It does not matter how before you are very rich, either right way or wrong way. Today is a month of grace. Now we are going to do a transfer. Everything that you used to have before that you lost, now you are righteous. It's going to come over this side. Every favor every money every connection come here right now lift up your hands right now. father right now we do a spiritual transfer you say it your word the wealth of the wicked has been laid out for the righteous have you given your life to christ so you're ready to do a transfer it's the same account it's you before you are wicked now it's you you're righteous so we need to transfer everything from there to here are you ready now are you ready now stretch it father right now i demand in the realm of the spirit you said in your word when a thief has been called he must pay for seven folds lord you restore job seven times so right now i command every wealth you used to have before right now in the name of jesus we transfer it back again to your life everything that belongs to you no one else no one else will have it only you receive it in jesus name is barbara Welcome. let me hold it for you your name is barbara okay woke up this morning I had a very disturbing dream I see things through my dream and every time I dream they normally come through and it scares me sometimes I don't want to dream um, I have been having problems in my business for a very long time I know my enemies are there but I think I could control them but I can't um, um, whenever they do anything to me I would know exactly what they're doing to me and this morning I got this dream and every time I get this dream somebody dies and I'm, I was really scared my brother has passed away, I was very close to him, and, but I don't know what happened. He's always so contacting me. And something said to me, you need to get up, go to church today. You need to get baptized. His voice was talking to me. So Wait, today? Today? Something told you you need to be baptized when? Today. You didn't know we were doing baptism? No, I didn't know. And I found Patricia, because she's been trying to get me to come to church for such a long time. I'm, 
I pray in my house. I do everything in my house. I'm a great believer for God. So you need. You, you pray in your in the house. You are a great believer. You do everything in your house. Yes. In your house. Yes. But I will be coming to church regular. So basically, Patricia said to me, "Come, come, be here and come." And I'm saying to myself, "I want to go to the gym. I want to go to church." I said, "Let me come to church first, then I go to the gym." And when I come in, when pastors start talking to me and telling me things that someone's deceiving me, and I, this is what I already know. You know, and the thing about it, I help so much people and I just feel so defied sometimes. I put all my energy in helping my family and all they do is just basically abuse me. So, I'm here today. I'm on a new journey. That's it. Come here, Barbara. Come here. Barbara, come here. This is amazing. This morning, the Holy Spirit told you you need to be baptized. Yes, and I need to do something. It's like, um, I don't know what it is. Um, Someone tell me that my aunt is gonna die, and I'm thinking, oh, this stupid woman, what is she talking about? She only want to tell me crap. This, this. But, but do you know the most amazing thing here is actually we had closed the mirror pool on Friday. But today you, you saw me standing there and says, Who wants to be baptized? I want to be baptized today. Now, how did you end up? I saw you wearing some other clothes. I went to buy some clothes. Just oh, after you went to buy? Yes. To be baptized? Yes, I as you got baptized, every issue in your life, it's gone. You have begun a new time. You are a favor magnet. Give Jesus a mighty of praise. There's something about this miracle pool. Thank you for watching Bishop Climate TV. I know you have been blessed. Here are four ways you can connect to the prophet today. One. Call now, 4420-8114-9390 for prayer. Two, come during free prophetic hour and meet the man of God personally. Every Sunday between 9 to 10 a.m., no appointment needed. Three, attend our powerful miracle services, Friday, 7.30 p.m., Sunday at 11 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. And four, visit our website, www.bishopclimate.org or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Bishop Climate Ministries, a place where the captives are set free.